Welcome! Today, we'll be going through question 5 from the Asian Pacific Maths Olympiad, 1996. Let A, B and C be the lengths of the sides of a triangle. Prove that the square root of A plus B minus C plus the square root of B plus C minus A plus the square root of C plus A minus B is less than or equal to the square root of A plus the square root of B plus the square root of C and determine when equality occurs. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one, apply the following substitution. Let A be X plus Y, let B be Y plus Z, and let C be X plus Z. This will ensure that the triangle inequalities are satisfied and this substitution is known as the Ravi substitution. Hint number two. After applying this substitution, try squaring both sides. Hint number three. Now you have squared your sides and simplified. How can you simplify the inequality and so make your life a little bit easier? Perhaps it is enough to prove a part of the inequality, which will lead to proving the whole of the inequality. Applying the substitution a equals x plus y, b equals y plus z, and c equals x plus z, we get the square root of 2x plus the square root of 2y plus the square root of 2z less than or equal to the square root of x plus y plus the square root of y plus z plus the square root of x plus z. Now, squaring both sides, we will get 4 multiplied by the square root of x multiplied by y plus 4 multiplied by the square root of xz plus 4 square root of yz plus 2x plus 2y plus 2z less than or equal to 2x plus 2y plus 2z plus 2 multiplied by the square root of x plus y multiplied by x plus z plus 2 multiplied by the square root of x plus y multiplied by y plus z plus 2 multiplied by the square root of x plus z multiplied by y plus z which simplifies down to 2 square root of xy plus 2 square root of xz plus 2 square root of yz less than or equal to the square root of x plus y multiplied by x plus z plus the square root of x plus y multiplied by y plus z plus the square root x plus z multiplied by y plus z. Now, because of the cyclical structure of the inequality, it is enough to prove that the square root of x, y plus the square root of x, z is less than or equal to the square root of x plus y multiplied by x plus z. So we will try squaring this inequality, which will give us xy plus xz plus 2 square root of x squared yz less than or equal to x squared plus xz plus xy plus yz. This simplifies to 2 multiplied by the square root of x squared yz less than or equal to x squared plus yz. Now, if we consider x squared and yz in the AMGM inequality, we see that this inequality gives us exactly that. So it's true by AMGM. So that means that the square root of xy plus the square root of xz is less than or equal to the square root of x plus y multiplied by x plus z. So in the same way, we prove that the square root of xy plus the square root of yz is less than or equal to the square root of x plus y plus y plus z, and the square root of xz plus the square root of yz is less than or equal to the square root of x plus z multiplied by y plus z. Adding all of these inequalities up, we get 2 multiplied by the square root of xy plus 2 multiplied by the square root of xz plus 2 multiplied by the square root of yz less than or equal to the square root of x plus y multiplied by x plus z plus the square root of x plus y multiplied by y plus z plus the square root of x plus z multiplied by y plus z. Now, as we've previously seen, we can rearrange this to get the square root of a plus b minus c plus the square root of b plus c minus a plus the square root of c plus a minus b less than or equal 
to the square root of a plus the square root of b plus the square root of c, which was what we needed to prove. We just backtracked our steps. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time. Goodbye.